Assembly Bill. Dr. Diana recording live from Cape Canaveral, Florida. Behind me is the Vehicle Assembly Building. STS-117 Atlantis is scheduled for launch in approximately eight hours at 7.38 p.m. The original launch date was set for March 15th. However, in late February, a severe hailstorm moved through the Cape Canaveral area, resulting in 4,000 plus dings caused by hail on Atlantis' external fuel tank. February hailstorm set back the launch date of STS-117 by three months. Technicians spent months sanding down the foam. Also, Glenn Laparani, a mechanical engineer for Lockheed Martin based out of New Orleans, invented what he called the pencil sharpener. After the technicians at the Cape had sanded down all the areas and resprayed with foam, the pencil sharpener was attached over the tank's metal nose cone. Technicians moved the so-called pencil sharpener around the tank to smooth the foam repairs thus restoring the original aerodynamic curve to the tank's foam-covered nose. Thanks so much, Glenn, for your wonderful invention. This morning, while we were all sleeping, engineers at the Cape were pumping in 500,000 gallons of super cold propellants into the external fuel tank. Why don't you follow me back to the classroom, where we're going to find out a little bit more about how the space shuttle actually works. The space shuttle consists of three major components, the orbiter which houses the crew, a large external tank that holds fuel for the main engines, and two solid rocket boosters which provide most of the shuttle's lift during the first two minutes of flight. All of the components are reused except for the external fuel tank which burns up in the atmosphere after each launch. As the shuttle accelerates, the main engines burn a half a million gallons of liquid propellant provided by the large orange external fuel tank. The main engines burn liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. The engine exhaust is primarily water vapor as the hydrogen and oxygen combine. The main engines develop thrust by using high energy propellants in a staged combustion cycle. What do people do with their spare time as they're waiting for the shuttle to launch? They visit the beach, they go swimming, people also go surfing during their spare time before the shuttle launches. or they visit local stores to buy memorabilia. In front of Ann Leah Gift Shop, the longest standing variety shop in Cocoa Beach, Florida, and owner Chris Packer is holding a space shuttle crossing sign. It's going to be real busy in here tonight. Chris is wearing the current STS-117 uh, memorabilia t-shirt that is designed by Space Shirts a local company in Brevard County. Chris is going to show us the current space patch that's being used on this mission, the STS-117. It's T-minus 10 minutes until the scheduled liftoff of STS-117 Atlantis. The goal of this mission will be to deliver the second and third starboard truss segments, S-3 and S-4, and another pair of solar arrays to the space station. This has proven to be a difficult task in the previous two missions. The astronauts have learned from the previous missions and have developed a few ideas that might help make this task go a bit easier on this particular mission. Another exciting aspect of this mission is the fact that SUNY Williams, a female astronaut who's been up on the International Space Station since December 2006, gets to return home during this mission. She now maintains the world record for the longest duration of time spent in space by a female. She will be replaced by Clay Anderson. One seventeen. It's There's the launch of STS-117 Atlantis. Godspeed.
visible at this point is the plume of the STS-117. God's 